。第十二條呢，就係、是、問返邊一個有關於江門靜默嘅。描述咧係正確嘅，咁江門植物咧就係連結住小腸同埋個肝嘅，咁當啲血離開小腸嘅時候咧，就唔係直接翻去心臟嘅，而係去一去個肝臟腺嘅。咁成條題目咧就考我哋三樣嘢啦，第一樣小腸功能食物吸收，咁啊吸收嘅方法咧不外乎就係 diffusion、osmosis 同埋 active transport 啦。第二啦就係肝臟嘅功能啦，就係控制血糖嘅水平啦。而第三呢，就係、是、要去分辨返動物同埋植物啦。咁呢度呢，亦都考返我哋血流方向呢，同嗰個血嘅成分呢，有啲咩嘅關係嘅。第一句就話啦，肛門植物呢，就將啲血呢帶離開 l i v 嘅。咁當然呢句呢係錯啦，因為呢，佢應該係將啲血帶離開小腸去個肝臟嗰處嘅。佢 A 就先 goodbye 啦。第二句呢，就係比較返肛門植物同埋肝植物啦。佢就話呢，肛門植物混嘅血呢，就會少啲氧氣喎。咁啊，肝植物呢，就係呢一條。咁呢一句呢，都係錯嘅，咁啊因為啦，其實喺小腸嗰樹呢，佢已經係用咗一部分嘅氧氣攞嚟吸收嘢食㗎啦，再去到 liver 嘅時候呢，其實佢都會再用氧氣嘅，咁即係用個簡單顯示啦，喺小腸已經會用咗一啲嘅氧氣。而去到 l i v 又會再用一啲氧氣，所以啲氧氣俾人用咗兩次㗎嘛，所以啦喺肛門靜脈嘅氧氣呢，應該係約略都仲係高過喺肝靜脈嘅氧氣嘅。C 呢就係將肛門靜脈同埋肝動脈呢做比較，佢就話肛門靜脈呢，就係喺食完一餐飯之後呢，佢就會運送少啲嘅氨基酸喎。其實呢句呢。都係錯，咁起碼大家都記得返啦。小腸就係攞嚟做吸收嘢食㗎嘛，所以食完餐飯之後呢，肛門靜脈所運送嘅血呢，應該係有多啲嘅氨基酸，咁啊因為我哋小腸吸收咗嘢食嚟啊嘛，所以 C 呢都係錯，咁啊千呼萬喚啊，終於去到 D 啦。今次呢，就話多一緊好餓嘅時候啦，有啲咩事發生呢？肛門靜脈所運送嘅血呢，就會少一啲嘅葡萄糖啦，相比肝靜脈呢一句就為正確啦。因為多一緊餓嘅時候啦，其實喺小腸你冇嘢好吸收啦，係咪？你都冇食嘢啦，係咪？所以肛門靜脈運送嘅血嘅血糖水平呢，就會低一啲嘅。跟住就到第二個概念喎。喂，肝有咩用啊？当血糖过低嘅时候，肝脏細胞就会将储存咗嘅糖原就转化返做葡萄糖，从而就将佢放返入血嗰处。所以点解喺肝静脉嘅血呢？佢个血糖水平呢就会高过肝门静脉啦。当一个人肚饿嘅时候，所以答案呢就係 D 咯。Question twelve is about the description of hepatic portal vein. So we need to identify the blood vessel first. Hepatic portal vein carrying the blood from the small intestine to the liver. So in this question, we are checking three concepts. The small intestine for food absorption, and food absorption can be by diffusion, osmosis, and active transport. And the second concept, function of the liver, is to control the blood glucose level. For the third concept, we need to distinguish artery from the vein. So in this question, we need to consider the blood flow direction and to consider the blood content. So let's take a look at the answer. First of all. Hepatic portal vein carry the blood away from the liver. That's the wrong concept because the hepatic portal vein it should carry the blood away from the intestine to the liver. So that's why option A is wrong. And for option B is comparing the hepatic portal vein and the hepatic vein. Hepatic vein is the vessel carrying the blood from the liver to the heart. It says that hepatic portal vein carry blood with lower oxygen content than that in the hepatic vein. So the Small intestine. The main function is food absorption, and one of the way is active transport. That means the small intestine will undergo respiration to release energy for active transport. So that means O2 level will be lower. Yes, we agree. But for the liver cells, they are also the living cells. They will also consume the oxygen for respiration. It means that when the blood arrives the hepatic vein, oxygen has been consumed for two times. So that's why in hepatic vein there should be less oxygen than the hepatic portal vein. So that's why option B is also wrong. And for option C, the situation is after meal. It says that the hepatic portal vein carry the blood with lower amino acid content than that in the hepatic artery after meal. Hepatic artery is the blood vessel carrying the blood away from the heart to the liver after meal. Hepatic portal vein will carry the blood with higher amino acid content because of the food absorption in the small intestine. Actually, there should be the highest amount of amino acid in the hepatic portal vein after meal. So that's why option C is wrong. So that's why the answer will be D. Hepatic portal vein carry blood with lower glucose level than that in the hepatic vein when one is hungry. 
It is correct because when someone is starved, no food is absorbed by the small intestine in the blood. So that means the blood glucose level should be low in the hepatic portal vein. Meanwhile, what is the function of the liver for the blood glucose regulation? So the liver cells will convert the stored glycogen into glucose and release the glucose into the blood. So that means the blood glucose level in the hepatic vein it should be higher. 